Hi everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And welcome to the Citizen Channel and the One City Show. Yeah, episode 12, a round dozen. There you go, fantastic. So, only a week since the last one, but uh, there's plenty, thing, plenty been happening, hasn't there? Obviously, uh, we'll, we'll brush over the Champions League uh, thing. We'll, we'll, we'll forget that, let the dust settle on that one. Uh, a little bit disappointing, but of course, uh, award season has sort of uh, boiled some pee all round the opposing fans, hasn't it? Obviously, with all the city players etc. Uh, picking up all these awards, but we'll have a little bit more on that in a in a little while. As we we have a look around city in the media and city fans and stuff that's happening and anything of interest. Uh, we'll finish off with a little funny as well later from one of our guys who got a little bit uh, upset about another award, not for a City player but for something else. But a bit more on that in a, in a in a wee while anyway when we finish this little vlog. So please if you are new to this channel push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications and there'll be sort of links on screen for different things. I've got a website where I sell uh, rare DVDs and posters, movie posters. I will be putting some football stuff on there as well, some City stuff etc in the future but uh, it's a matter of finding the time at the moment so bear with me on that but uh, you can have a look at the website and of course i'm on facebook and twitter if you follow me on there do check and follow and friend everyone back on there and don't forget my film and tv channel as well so if you want to have a restaurant football during the this summer hiatus if you like uh, please have a look at that as well It'd be fantastic or point people in my direction i'd be very very grateful we like to get uh, we're about 930 odd subscribers at the moment so I'm trying to get to a thousand before the next football season so if you can give me any help towards that and tell your friends that'd be fantastic and all comments are welcome of course and please if you don't have time for a comment just give us a little little thumbs up it's fantastic uh, these city vlogs are coming out at least what at least one a day during the summer no no break for me I don't go off I don't go swanning off having a break and uh, obviously leaving people with nothing to do and twiddle the thumbs I always try and put some stuff out there but hey, there you go. Right, let's have a look what we've got there. A few city images first. Yeah, interesting enough. Yeah, I had a, uh, I sort of DM'd him and he DM'd me back. And uh, obviously Jim Whitley, we know, is a bit of an artist, isn't he? A bit of a, a, a sort of entertainer and artist. Yeah, and he has a... If you check into his at Jim Whitley 10 on, on Twitter, he's actually... Can see him putting together a little tribute to Sergio Aguero. I've put there's a picture on the screen now, but it doesn't quite do it justice because it's actually uh, a sort of time motion thing of him actually doing it. So seek that out if you can. Anyway, I did mention to Jim I'd give it give it a mention anyway, and uh, I don't know how he, what he does with these things. If he has a, a site for buying stuff or anything like that, but if you if you give him a follow on that, I'm sure you can DM and find out information, etc. I'm not sure how he does things, but I thought that was an amazing thing of uh, Sergio Aguero, so I thought I'd just share that with you. Obviously, now the gentleman's finally gone. I think there's something else a bit later on Sergio as well. So at Jim Whitley 10 is always worth a, a look there. Uh, Sean Campbell, yeah, at Sean underscore C, small s, large x, small e, small big g, f, x. I, I, I hope, I'll put it on the screen for if it's not, if it's not on the thing. Yeah, great little illustration there of uh, Zinchenko. Uh, and he's part, Sean is part of this City Food Bank sticker project. He do stickers, yeah, if you find, want to find out a little bit more about that as well get in touch with that uh, that sean campbell at uh, that address i'm not going to repeat it again uh, and give him a follow and find out a little bit more about it because that's that's again a fantastic image some some great artists out there isn't there I, i'd love to be able to draw to be honest with you but i'm not pretty i'm all right at matchstick men that's about my limit unfortunately so I'll give Sean Campbell a look anyway, but that was a, a great, great image of our Zinchenko there. And also, yeah, there's a, a Josh Saunders. Yeah, he's a bit poorly at the moment, Josh Saunders. But uh, Gordon Davidson on Facebook, yeah, he, he posted something on his behalf. Uh, that's, so there's an image there, fantastic. I mean, that's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Uh, and he goes on to say, this masterpiece was designed by Josh. As a farewell edit to Sergio Aguero, Josh is unwell at the moment, so let's hope you get better soon, Josh. Uh, but he managed to put together the final pieces of this fantastic edit and has asked Gordon to show you all. So this is Gordon Davidson on his behalf. He asked Blues to please feel free to share it and credit Josh if you do. So there you go, go full credit to uh, Josh Saunders, a wonderful image there. So do seek out Gordon Davis and all Josh Saunders on Facebook and uh, get some more information on there. But that's a great, I thought I had to share that image with you. I thought it was a fantastic image. And Paul Lindsay, yes, yes, she, uh, 
Yeah, she sent me a little... Well, she didn't send it me. She tweeted a lovely image of the balloons that her hubby had sent her. Yeah, 30th birthday. Is that all right for women? Do you, do you mind being told you're 30? I'm not too sure. Is it 40, 50 or 60 you don't like? I'm not too sure. I don't know what the rules are when you mention ladies' ages, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah, she uh, gave him an extra brownie point because, yeah, I didn't quite notice at first. But there's a, a great city badge on the corner there of, of the actual balloons. So that's fantastic. Obviously, get them. I never re really realised they're not that but. Not that I'm into buying balloons, to be honest with you. Uh, but she did say they arrived a day early. So whether he miscalculated on a birthday or he was just he was just so excited he wanted to give her the, the balloons a day early. I'm not too sure. But uh, Lindsay, give him a break. Uh, say that was a, uh, an ablated birthday to you, Lindsay. Now, it'd be probably two or three, uh, probably a week or so ago anyway, when she, when she posted that. But uh, I did enjoy that little image. And we always love a great city cake, don't we? <laughs> And uh, Mark obviously on Twitter sent this on Twitter, uh, an image of his son's 18th birthday cake. Absolutely wonderful. It's almost almost a shame to cut into some of these things, isn't it? And actually start eating them. But I'm sure we'd manage. I'm sure we'd suffer the uh, indignity of uh, cutting into it if, uh, if we could have a piece of that. On to City site itself, on to stuff on City. Of course, there's lots of pieces on the, all the awards we've won, etc., etc., on the, the manager and KDB and Phil Folden, etc., etc. And, of course, we had uh, six players men uh, named in the uh, Premier League team of the year as well, didn't we? So we had Edison, Cancelo, Stones, Diaz, KDB and Gundogan in there. So as well as that, obviously we've got the player of the year and the young player of the year, the manager of the year and opposing fans are a bit uptight about it. But, uh, you know, for the first time, I think the City have actually won things, i.e. the Premier League and the League Cup and actually got, actually got noticed for it, which is nice to see, isn't it? But you're still going to get the whinges and, I mean, people are mentioning Mason Mount. I mean, there's not been a patch on Phil Foden this season, stuff like that. And just winning the European, uh, European Cup or whatever version we have now. Uh, it's not good enough on its own just to, to warrant him being any better than Phil but uh, there you go it's, it is what it is I suppose that's all we can do and there's a great image there wasn't there? yeah work continuing on relaying the pitch but obviously it was nice to see in the background you can all, almost see my where I stand because obviously I do stand because I'm, I'm in the singing section in the south stand but uh, I'm sort of trying to figure out the angle there, but I'm sure I'm sure you can virtually see where my rail seat, because obviously we're going to put rail seats in, aren't we? Going to see where my rail seat, and assume they're going to put rail seats in for the away fans as well, based on that, because um, it's right along, isn't it? I've seen some other diagrams. Uh, so are they going to get the benefit of that as well as 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 away fans? It'd be quite interesting to see. But someone did comment on Twitter that. Uh, uh, where you're putting your away fans because they assumed it was all just, just going to be for City fans but I wouldn't have thought so I would have thought uh, it's going to be right across and obviously uh, the away fans will get the benefit of one level of uh, rail seats like City are but uh, that was a great image of all the work going on and what, what's uh, what's happening there uh, yeah and as I'm recording this tomorrow or as this is now going out to, to you to watch uh, of course, the season card renewals for the 21-22 season uh, are going to begin from Tuesday the June the 8th from 10am. Interesting that. I mean, so just reading between the lines and reading some of the stuff they put out there. Obviously, they're, they're happy with this, uh, obviously, for the next season that uh, they're going to have this um, mobile ticketing, which obviously a lot of people don't like, but there are ways around it. Obviously, if you say you get a citizen card and you want to get... Uh, uh, games that's no problem but obviously mobile obviously that's for people who don't have a card and you just uh, have a ticket so they're going to do that next season which is interesting and they are saying obviously anyone who's I took my money unfortunately I didn't I got I got my rebate back of my money uh, but obviously those who had credit from the 2019-20 season can use it towards of course the cost of the 21-22 season and I've checked mine it looks as though it's the same price uh, some people have been on the internet saying theirs have dropped I'm not too sure why that is i mean i would have thought they'd freeze them i don't think people i mean, I mean I, i'm gonna to have to officially stand now i don't have a seat anymore surely mine should have dropped but they didn't i'm not going to quibble over that the fact they froze it is good enough for me i'm not really worried about that but some people said it's actually dropped so uh, it'd be quite interesting to let me know what what yours has done if, you, if yours has gone up or dropped or stayed the same or whatever it is and of course the flexible payment option the direct debit monthly thing is is there with no interest so that's again something i'll be taking up as well 
And also following consultation uh, with City Matters, yeah, uh, the club will be offering an option of supporters to take a one-season deferment on their season card for the 21-22 season. Supporters who choose this option will retain any ticket points accrued in previous seasons. So I suppose this is still with the COVID worry, I'm not too sure. So obviously, um, it's obviously going to be further information on that when uh, all this is published online on June the 8th. I'm sure it'll all be nice and clear and easy to understand, perhaps not. Uh, away from that, yeah, Arrow Murich, yeah, he was at, uh, on loan, wasn't he? He didn't have a great time, did he? And then, but uh, apparently it's been done really well at Villain 2, which is the team he went on loan to. So it's a great piece if you look on the City city website on, on Arrow Murich's uh, loan thing there. And uh, he did very well, apparently. Obviously, the threat and relegation, I think he had a... And that's really good to, good to hear because he did struggle a little bit, didn't he? And he was, he was struggling, so that was nice. So give that a read on the City website. And, of course, the Community Shield has been confirmed. Uh, all right, we play Leicester City. We know that. And it's for the 7th of August at 5pm. And it's live on ITV, but hopefully I'll be able to get down for that one. I'm hoping... Uh, Obviously, this COVID thing won't be as harrowing as it has been recently, and I'll be able to be able to get down for that one. So I'm looking forward to that. I don't mind Leicester. I mean, I'd rather them than Chelsea, to be honest with you. But that's how it goes. Uh, and yes, you can relive all of Sergio's goals as well. Uh, don't be too. Uh, worried if there's the odd caption mistake which I found I literally looked at about uh, three goals and one of the goals was incorrectly described but there you go uh, all of Sergio's goals so <laughs> that on that basis there might be a few errors there but uh, please have a look at that they did they did the best but uh, if you want to relive all of Sergio's goals for City yeah that'll keep you quiet for a little bit anyway <laughs> so that'll be all right and yeah out and about also on social media uh, the last few days, of course, love him or not love him so much. Uh, Eric Garcia went, but he left a little nice uh, sign off to to City fans. I think that was an excellent message. Will be up on screen now, but it it was a nice message. I mean, all right, I don't, not, it wasn't everyone's cup of tea, but we all do wish him uh, wish him luck, don't we? In the future, of course, we do. Uh, you know, we've got to be. Uh, What's the word? Uh, anyway, we've got to be that <laughs> to to the RX players, even though we perhaps didn't think uh, he was sort of played correctly by most people. I certainly don't think he should have been in the first team or on the first team squad for the uh, last third of the season, certainly. But uh, yeah, love him a lot, and that was a nice little thank you message. And I think he's got a, a quite a big release clause on his uh, contract as well, hasn't he? I don't think we'll be, uh, I don't think we'll be uh, top putting that to the test. Will we by any time soon? And Wazza, I think he sent us some stuff on the main road derby massacre, didn't he, last time? He's got uh, Wazza 64 at Wazza 64 MCFC. Yeah, so he's got the 10-1 Annihilation of Huddersfield there. And of course, uh, I was at that one. I was at that game. And uh, to be honest with you, I thought I had some images of that and sort of paper cuttings as well, but I can't find any adequate look in me in my stuff. So uh, it was great it was to post that anyway, but I'm a bit gutted I can't find mine. But there's loads of stuff. Uh, in various moves I've, I've lost over the you know even shirts i mean the, the very the 99 shirt i can't find that for the life of me you know my replica shirt i have no idea where that's gone so things like that it's, it's annoying and i certainly did have stuff on the 10 one win obviously i used to always collect the papers or something at the time but i've lost that but thanks to was anyway for posting that again that's great to see I mean, all this talk about, I mean, I don't get involved in the transfer talk. I mean, I don't think Pep will have a team to come back to, will he, when he comes back off his holiday, if you believe everything the papers are saying about which players want out, etc., etc. But Ferner was a bit of a worry, wasn't he? He's been put on the release list, hasn't he? Um, but there was, as I'm recording this, he's still trying to, you know, he's still option of him staying at City. But I assume the problem is... He's at, they're asking him to take a a, re, a big wage cut, are they? Like they did with Sergio, where they're not going to pay him as much. When you can think about Thurner, actually, did he actually pay some of his own transfer fee to come to City in the first place? I think that's a bit harsh. So, but we'll never know the truth. I mean, it could be it could be nothing in that at all. And uh, but uh, it will be great. But see, the worrying thing was on screen. There was that little goodbye, that little goodbye tweet. It was like a goodbye tweet, wasn't it? And that sort of worried me. I must admit, when I saw that. It was published after the Champions League, of course, but uh, yeah, it's a bit of like of a goodbye that wasn't it. But as I said, we're still as I, as I'm doing this a week later, we're still uh, still hopeful that he will be staying for another season. I think I think we sort of need him to stay, but uh, probably City probably are wanting him to stay, but they're not offering him the money, perhaps uh, as he, as he didn't with Sergio. That's probably 
business, isn't it, at the end of the day, unfortunately. So there you go. To all of you, thank you as how he finished his little tweet. So that was a little bit worrying, to say the least. But obviously more on that. And of course, there was a, a list of the players who were taking part in this thing. I have no real interest. I do watch teams of City players are playing sometimes if they get the chance. But uh, yeah, let's hope they all come back safe. Of course, he, uh, Mares is off with his, with his guys and the Brazilians are off, aren't they, as well. But obviously, uh, there's 15 players in the Euro 2020. So you've got Walker, Stones, Foden. Sterling, Garcia, Laporte, Rodri and Ferran, uh, Cancelo, Diaz and Bernardo, KDB, Gundogan, Ake and Zinchenko all off. So let's hope they all come back. Uh, all come back safe. I mean, KDB's not gone safe, has he? But uh, <laughs> hopefully he'll come back in one piece once he gets his uh, nose sorted out, etc, etc. Yeah, and a friend, yeah, a friend and subscriber to the channel. Yeah, he was, he was commenting on my... Uh, not got now got the found world of Manchester City and obviously he's remembering his own memorabilia and of course he's he did say to me on a, on a little a little answer a little comment section apart from my city tattoo one of my favorite pieces of city memorabilia is a badge of an Irish flag with a city crest in the middle but many years ago at Main Road I asked him to uh, so I asked him to post it to me the image and he did and then it is up on screen absolutely brilliant I'll, I'll do like that. I mean I've obviously Irish heritage myself so I mean that he got obviously a long Long, 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 long time ago, but uh, there you go. I think my great granddad was Irish, or my grand, I'm not too sure on that side. So there's a little part of me still, still obviously over in Cork or or whatever. I was going to do an accent there, but I get in trouble, won't I? Uh, yeah, so. That's a great badge. Oh, that is a fantastic badge. So uh, thanks for for uh, Vin anyway. Vin what Vin for Waldron for uh, sending me that. That's absolutely fantastic. Always comments and makes uh, some great memories. He's got some great memories. If you if you if you watch any of my vlogs and these history ones, do look at some of the comments. There's some great memories come out from other fans as well. Not you know you, you have to listen on to me droning on about my little memories. What I can remember because I've not got the greatest memory, but uh, some good stuff there. So please do that when you when you. Uh, Watch back these vlogs, these city history vlogs. And of course, it's Father's Day soon, isn't it? How about a couple of ideas for uh, gifts? Uh, oh, my, some, oh, my, some of my family might be watching this. I doubt it very much, but there you go. Yeah, because there's a couple of things I want of these as well. Howard Hocking has got his end of season thing out. At Howie Hock 3434. Yeah, he does an end of season there. Book, doesn't he? A publication. And his 2021 season one is out. Uh, the, this tome weighs in it. Uh, 400 page so you can buy the kindle version obviously at a, a very well-known uh, website as uh, to get the kindle version as well as the paperback version and it's called the bought supremacy oh yes yeah. so always always one for a little bit of fun uh, howard uh, uh, manchester city 2021 season review and life in a pandemic there you go what more could we ask for there you go but with father's day coming just just leave that or sort of leave this running or mention it to, to someone who might uh, who might treat you. Hopefully someone will treat me to it as well. But uh, I'm not going to hold my breath, unfortunately. So there you go. Kindle and paperback versions, obviously, I have to do a citizen recommends for that. And they're always they're always good fun with Howard Hock. He always does. Uh, he's got he's got he's got my sort of sense of humour. I have a, I have a quite wide sense of humour anyway. But certainly Howard. Howard is uh, similar to my little chuckle muscle with the, with his thoughts. And of course, we can't go off without gifts, without mentioning, of course, gingerwigscitygifts.com, can we? Uh, and again, he's got his usual assortment. Obviously, he's got the Father's Day cards, which I think I mentioned last time we did this one city show, which is fantastic. But he's got a new mug now, the new uh, Champions mug, which uh, goes uh, the winnings from every city side that won the title from 1937 to present day. So all the players... Apparently, he did have a little spelling mistake on uh, Zabaleta, but that's been rectified. That's been sorted. So uh, I did say to him, if he just put the F in Manny, well, we would have known. It wouldn't have been a problem, would it? But hey, there you go. So, yeah, that's uh, that's a, so as well as the Father's Day cards. You've still got a couple of weeks uh, while I'm recording this to get them. And obviously, you can get that mug as well. Fantastic. Uh, Again, uh, nice summer, you know, one of my kids got me that or something, but hey, there you go. My trouble is if I start buying everything for myself for these things, I'll be absolutely skimp, won't I? Uh, yeah, and we always have a look at Blues in Business, don't we, which is the new thing now at Blues underscore business, where it uh, we shout out to City fans with firms in and around Manchester and in and around the North West and uh, give them a shout out where the, the link's either uh, by family or whatever or actually run by City fans. 
so blues in business give them a follow on uh, on twitter uh, and so just a little look through this week of what we've got there we've got some some carpets you fancy a carpet for your stairs or your carpet for your living room yeah you've got uh, ben yeah a big city fan ben is worth a look at the carpet man m22 i think m22 is obviously to do with where he's from so give him a shout out there and if, if you like your cakes we do like the cakes don't we i think we had a couple of bakeries on last time didn't we but uh, we've got more cakes the robinson's bakery of fails with there so if you're in and around that area you give them a call in on them they say don't go to greg's or these other guys martin's or other cake shops are available uh, go to robinson's bakery of fails with give them a true blues and family run and you can uh, dm them as well at binsy2 b-i-n-s-y-2 so uh, for details as well if you want anything special if you want to do little special things and perhaps that birthday cake we saw before they might do something like that and at tom robbins t-h-o-m robbins r-o-b-b-i-n-s uh, a city fan and a kitchen bathroom specialist of course well that goes without saying doesn't it uh, based in south manchester and he covers uh, disbury northern and sale and the surrounding areas so again give him a, a dm if you go at, at tom robbins if you want some uh, something kitchen and bathroomy so there you go and yeah to finish today i did mention another award into that uh, just a little bit of a did make me smile when i read this uh, it's uh, a gentleman called david walker at djw sky blue blu sky blu uh yeah david walker it's quite funny obviously uh Gordon Taylor, yeah, Mr. Gordon Taylor, we've got, got an award. Uh, what did he get an award for now? Let me have a look. Oh, yeah, the PFA Merit Award winner, uh, Gordon Taylor. And David Walker just commented, uh, just to finish off today, and the Gordon Taylor Award is voted for by Gordon Taylor and rewarding Gordon Taylor for helping generate an annual salary of £2 million pound plus to gordon taylor for which gordon taylor did sweet fa for decades other than benefit gordon taylor goes to gordon taylor congrats gordon taylor there you go so thank you david <laughs> that didn't make me smile when I, I literally just saw that before i came on to do this vlog so there you go that was uh, quite funny from david so not a bad way to end uh, episode 12 of the one city show and obviously say get your cakes get your carpets get your bathrooms get everything out get your father's day cards you give give the give our fellow city fans and families your support that'll be fantastic and please do check out as i said there'll be a city vlog every day throughout the summer while there's no football so uh, lots of different things so keep your eyes out for them and uh, there might be something to say there's all different things as you know i do the book clubs and the quizzes and stuff like that so there'll be something of interest you and if you, you say if you if you're at loose end have a, have a check of my film and tv channel anyway thanks for watching what are we going to do with this today have a great one look after yourselves look after your friends look after your families more importantly let's all look after each other to we'll meet here again on the citizen channel or oh, you flit across have a look at my film and tv channel i only ask one thing if you're out there stay safe blues come on city thanks for watching bye for now